Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be tackling an EV simple background kind of animation you can use for your VJ loops or anything you want, and it's going to look like this. Right here, it loops seamlessly. Of course, in my player, it doesn't really like to loop it that well, but once you throw it in Premiere or any kind of editor, it'll loop perfectly, and uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So for the triangle shape, all we're going to do is we're going to drop in a cylinder, and then right here on fill type, put it on nothing. And then up here on the vertices, bring it all the way down to three. Click on our object, hit RX90. We have this, and then we're just gonna scale it down to make it a little bit skinnier. And that would be on your Z scale. So put her out right about there, maybe a little bit wider. And then we're gonna go and add in a solidify. Just like that. Okay, that's all we need to do. Last one actually is our wireframe. Click replace original and then make it a little bit thinner and now we have our model. So, first thing we need to add is our empty. Click your empty. I didn't do it. Plane axis. Empty. Plane axis. Axis. I said apsis. Alright, so the next modifier we need to add is an array. So, we'll just sort of unclick relative offset and click object offset and click empty. Okay, so our first problem here is this is basically the same size as when we imported the object. So what we have to do is copy the dimensions from here and put them on to your empty. So first on the rotation, click on your empty and put it at 90. And then, let's see where we at, 1, 1, and 0, 140 on our scale. So put on X and Y, 1. Then go back to your cylinder here on the Z, just hit Control C to copy that so we don't have to type it in. Z and then control V paste it in and now it's the same size and then if we move our empty there's our object so let's just go back to our triangle and give it a bunch of copies all right the next thing we're going to do is quickly add in a camera we'll give it a rotation on the X of 90 and then Y and Z give it zero and then hit zero to go in then hit G on the mouse middle click and just pull back so we're going to get all the way till it just about covers the camera and then let's go into our rendered view and we can't see anything so let's add in our materials first one we're gonna keep it just about there we don't need to touch that we're not really gonna see it because the bloom is gonna overtake it we're gonna add another one and make it an emission shader put our strength at 50 make it whatever color you want I'm gonna make it blue and then when we look at it we still don't see anything and the problem is we need to go back to our wireframe and click material offset 2 and then now we see our material and there's our model so let's just give it a bunch more and then go to the empty and we need to add this sort of curving and that's done with the empty so let's do that click on your empty and just rotate it just like that just like that and so let's animate that so I want it to animate right to about there that's that's 2.7 so now let's do some keyframe animation so make sure your your size is at your end frame is at 120 or whatever size you want it 120 looks really good so click this little dot right here and then go to 60 and right click and then click negative 2.7 so that just inverts it, but the same animation basically. And then we'll go back to 120 and click 2.7, 2.7, enter and animate. Now, you should have an animation that looks like this, but there's our problem is a keyframe. Now, by default, you should have the correct keyframe interpolation, but for me, I don't. So if you have that problem, go to editing and your user preferences, click animation, and right here on your keyframe interpolation, put it at Bezier. And so you'll get a smooth animation. So I'm going to clear the keyframes and just redo what we just did. So now when we watch it, it should be correct. Yep, so now we have a smooth, nice animation. Okay, so the last bits of animation we need to add to this is some camera movement. So if you see it, the camera it just kind of goes in and out and adds a lot more interest to this animation and that's super simple uh, first thing go out of edit mode to solid 
for some reason in this current beta build, when I animate it while in rendered view, it, it gets weird and it doesn't work. So go out of solid, I mean, go into solid mode, click Z, solid, and we're gonna start the animation. So first thing, it's gonna be in the Y. So start it where you want it to start. Now click on it and con click Control C. So you wanna copy that because that's what it's gonna go back to and you don't have to memorize that number. So click animation, the key keyframe, go to 60 or whatever the middle of your um, animation is and just zoom it really far in. You want this to be dramatic. Right about there, click keyframe and go to 120 and paste it in. And that's all you need to do for that. Go to rendered and check it out. And it looks pretty weird right now. Uh, I think that's the motion blur. Yeah, there we go. And there you go, that's your animation. You can kind of check it out. And if you don't want this big hole, obviously you would just want to go and add a bunch more. That makes it a bit slower, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And there you go, that's the animation. It's really simple, it's really fun, and you can add it to whatever you want. Um, you can put like a little ship in the middle, or just do whatever you want, be creative. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.